Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mags, so Newcastle United draw curtain 2022 as we take on Leeds United at St James's Park this New Year's Eve. It's going to be at 3 o'clock kickoff at St James's Park as well. A sold out St James's Park for this game. The Leeds fans have got to be licking their lips at this game to be honest because yes, it's a tough game but the after party in Newcastle for New Year's Eve, even if the win or lose this game it's going to be absolutely amazing for them fans uh, so they've really gotten the dream ticket game here uh, to see in the new year uh, and of course it's going to be a very interesting game uh, as Newcastle go into this one uh, on the back of an 11 game unbeaten run uh, we're also going to this one six games uh, in a row won as well uh, with the win against Leicester on Boxing Day taking that to six uh, wins out of the last six games uh, Leeds are coming into this one with two wins and four losses out of their last six games and they of course take on Manchester City tonight at Elland Road as well so it's going to be even worse for uh, Leeds United because they have to take on Manchester City, the reigning Premier League champions, before they take on us. Uh, Newcastle United say that are sitting second in the league, firing on all cylinders. Eddie's got the lads uh, playing some entertaining football and Leeds have got two really tough games uh, coming up. The game, of course, tonight uh, and that game against us on uh, New Year's Eve. Of course, Leeds may still be reeling as well from their last league outing, uh, where, of course, they ended up on the end of a 4-3 defeat to Tottenham, uh, which saw them become the first team to lead three times in a Premier League game and fail to win since Boxing Day 2012. So, quite an interesting stat there uh, on Leeds United. Could they be on the way down out of the Premier League? Uh, you know, it still remains to be seen. Uh, whether they'll be able to survive or not uh, but it doesn't look good for Jesse Marsh and his lads there I was talking to a uh, Leeds United fan before Christmas uh, in a taxi uh, on the way to Newcastle of course and he said that you know he thought it wasn't looking very good uh, you know by Jesse Marsh uh, he didn't really like the way you know Jesse Marsh is coming and uh, you know, dealt with the team. He was okay with the game against Liverpool, of course, uh, where, you know, on the road so far this season, Leeds have had some luck. They won that game against Liverpool, uh, although some Liverpool fans might say it was a little controversial, um, of course, and they've drew in once as well this season in a 2-2 draw against Southampton and lost their other five uh, games. So, Looking at it, it's going to be an interesting one. This is a team, you know, that I would expect Newcastle to beat. Uh, I would expect we're going to this game on New Year's Eve and come away winners, seeing out uh, 22, uh, 2022 on an absolute high and partying the night away in Newcastle uh, for all the fans that are going to the match. Uh, that would be absolutely fantastic. We'll fully deserve it uh, for the way we've been playing this season so far and long may it continue as well looking at the last five visits uh, to St James's Park as well for Leeds uh, there's been one win uh, and three draws and one loss for Newcastle in them games uh, the referee for the game is going to be Simon Hooper it's just one sighting so far this season for the Whistler uh, from Wiltshire of course who oversaw the opening day uh, home victory over Nottingham Forest as well uh, and on for it's going to be Michael Salisbury uh, for the game so like I say it's going to be an interesting one I would expect Newcastle to come away with a win in this one uh, especially with the way we've been playing I mean like I just said earlier in the video you know we're going into this game with 11 games unbeaten uh, we haven't lost a game since that game back against Liverpool when it was uh, at Anfield and we lost of course, and that was a controversial loss as well. Uh, so, you know, we could still be undefeated if it wasn't for uh, that controversial loss in that game. But that's in the past now. Uh, we'll move forward. We're 11 games unbeaten going into this game against Leeds United. We've got six wins out of the last six games. Leeds are going into this one with only two wins 
uh, in four losses out of the last six games. So we are the much better side. We are the side that, you know, the bookies will be uh, toting as the favourites going into this game. And especially even more so being that we are in second place in the league as well. So we're not like Leeds uh, going into this one where Leeds are fighting a relegation battle. We are a team that are going for a title. We are a team that is right there in amongst it. Uh, fighting for a chance to win the Premier League title this season. And I would absolutely, to quote Kevin Keegan, love it if we won that Premier League title. Just would absolutely put the icing on the cake for this fantastic season that we are doing. Uh, anyhow, it has really revitalised the team. He's got the team firing on all Sundays. He knows what the players want. The players know what Eddie Howe wants. And all of them know what the fans want and the owners want. We want a team that tries and we are getting a team that tries. And it's just absolutely beautiful to watch. Uh, till next time, remember to like, share, subscribe, 200% mags. A massive thank you as well to everybody who has followed me over on Twitter. As we hit 2k followers over on Twitter uh, before the end of 2022. Which was a goal that I was trying to hit. And we have hit it. We're now on the road uh, to... One point uh, to two point five k uh, followers uh, on Twitter, so that would be absolutely fantastic if we could get uh, to that milestone next. And also on YouTube, uh, we're currently on the road to two k subscribers on YouTube. If we could hit that as well uh, next year, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, hopefully before the anniversary of the channel. But till next time, I'll see you all later. Hope you all have an amazing uh, New Year's Eve and hopefully Newcastle United do the business and get with the three points. However, the lads.